up everybody welcome back to a brand new video guys today we are playing torn torn a two torn a two i don't know if that's how you say it but if i if i whiff that hard i apologize we were going to jump into this game no questions that's just a lot of the itch.io games are still being saturated with a bunch of the christmas games so i'm going to start to finish up some of the christmas games as well so we're going to jump right into this no questions asked as per usual late one winter polar night you find yourself unable to sleep awoken with a strange uneasy feeling with your mother fast asleep you decide to move to the living room with with that much to do you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day all right so here we are are we like a small child we look like a small child okay so read book all righty the torn the torn I can't fucking explain what that is. The Tornuk 2 is an evil creature originating from the Alaskan folk folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow in the night. It is said to be especially tall when it's on its hind legs, and capable of walking like a human however it is also capable of galloping like a deer that can travel at high speeds in almost a floating manner okay well that's good to know so we don't seem to run from anything it seems i don't like this already this this is giving me a lot of like anxiety already but we're going to go forward i mean what's the worst that can happen really i get jump scared boo hoo i don't know how to open up anything i don't know where i'm supposed to go right now bathroom no we read the book. Do we just go back to bed? Bedroom, no. Mom's room, no. Where do I go? Reindeer? Was I supposed to look out this window and see it? Am I supposed to read more? Oh, wait, there is more. What the fuck? The Tornuk 2 is said to be only seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as Polar Night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed that the Tornuk 2 is unable to attack outside of these months due to the weakness of the sun. Once the Polar Night starts the Tornuk 2, it's said to be starving and will begin its hunt evading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornuk 2 targets those who, are, who build their homes far from others and secluded places, thus to be safe from the attack people should live close to another interesting so he just seems to attack just random houses well i don't know where i'm supposed to go i don't know if i'm supposed to do something <laughs> i don't know what i'm supposed to do i'm just trying to go back and forth and my game literally like froze for a sec what the fuck hello Oh, something just opens up our door. Well, why don't we... Oh! My cat just turned on the Xbox. My cat was like, nah, I'm gonna start playing the Xbox, actually. So we're gonna keep going this way, because apparently there is... This book is still still making some noise here. Oh, hey, dude. Hello. The sign torn to his near is finding snowmen that figures, which are said to be have faces of the dead and smell like human corpses. Well, I can't smell them, so I'm just going to take their word for it. It is believed such figures will surround a house during the torn attacks. Another sign it might be near is exclusive feelings of fear or distress with the no distant cause. With no direct cause, sorry. Assumingly, he is near. Hello, sir. Um, sorry, I, I had a text message. Sorry, I didn't think there was something... <gasps> what the fuck i'm trying to send a text message back okay i guess i'll read the book all right give me a <laughs> the tornaku also carries a bag made of fur which is used to steal children from the house it attacks it is known where the children go when they are taken some say the tornaku eats their souls to attain an immortality other than that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year all right that's interesting where am i supposed to go now i don't know where we're supposed to go now i am on the case this is just as Jay-Z, former former reporter. I am reporting inside uh, this little child's house on the day of Christmas. We are reporting live. Well, our mom's dead. Fuck, dude. What the 
fuck? Never live. This would only happen if you live in Alaska, I swear. It is believed the only way that a tornado can die is if they starve to death. So once it finds a house to attack, there's nothing you, you can do to stop it. Fucking interesting, huh? That is interesting. If you ask. <gasps> no, 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 leave me alone. What the fuck is that? Oh, you're going to get juked. No. <laughs> I have been captured. <laughs> no. You know, I really try my best with that. I really try to hold shift and run away, but I was trapped inside my house. I wonder if there's actually a way you can actually like, get out. I actually wonder if there was a way. Oh, damn. So it only has just one ending here. I was really thinking there'd be a second ending where you somehow like escape them or something, but I feel like that was just inevitable. But that is it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for the constant love and support. I really like doing short horror games every now and again. It kind of just, it's like a palate cleanser for like the next big one that comes out on itch.io. I'm just trying to just wait for the new saturated games that come in through itch.io that just get bumped up. I'm not saying I don't want to review any more Christmas games or anything like that. I just don't. Just some of them are kind of all the same, just like kill Santa, escape from Santa, escape from a moose. It's stuff like that something with Canada. I just, want, I just want it to be the same sort of game that I'm playing just with a different outcome. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys that checked out on the channel update or channel ramble video that I, po that I posted out. I had a really nice kind words that came back from just from the comments of the video and it really meant a lot to me. I just like to express everything to keep it transparent with you guys. I'm not trying to make it sad or any sombering or anything like that because that's not what you guys are here. You guys are here to break away from reality. I, I just want to keep it transparent with the channel and how I feel while doing YouTube and all that stuff like that. And the reception on it was amazing. And I just want to say thank you guys for it. Stay safe. Be responsible and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.